Hi everyone, this is Keith with StartALawnCareBusiness.com. You may be wondering how you can take your lawn care business to the next level by bidding on larger scale contracts and city and government contracts in your local area. And I just wanted to go over a code of conduct form with you. Uh, now this isn't a bid specific form, but it does give you a code of conduct so you can learn how you can bid on upcoming lawn care jobs. So I want to take a second or a couple of minutes to point out the finer points. And the first I'm going to go over with you is the proposal forms. Now, most bidding packets come with a series of bidding forms that come in in the bid packet. And you need to fill out the bidding forms that come along with it. Don't fill out your own forms uh, for these larger scale contracts because they may reject your bids if you fill it out on anything other than the paperwork that they gave you um, with the bid packet. So make sure that you take that into consideration. The next thing is that you need to make sure that your bids are in on time. Late bids will reject, or that, if you're if you're late on a bid, they will reject your bid, uh, even if you're five minutes late. I've seen companies come in uh, really like two or three minutes after the purchasing agents have started opening bids, and they reject the bids because they're not in on time. So if it's a time-sensitive bid, make sure that you get it in even a couple of days in advance. That way you're not worried about it, and you can bid the price with a clear head, and you're not rushing. I think that's really important. Uh, the next thing is the submittal of bids. Uh, bids must be presented in the special mailing envelope. Uh, and I mentioned that earlier, the bid package. Um, the envelope uh, is going to be time stamped once you hand it in to the purchasing agent so they can prove that it was in on time and it really needs to be in the special envelope uh, that comes with the bid package. Uh, the next thing I want to look at is the uh, competency of the bidder. Um, this is really important. If if you are bidding contracts that you don't have the equipment for or you don't have the know-how, um, they can reject your bid even if you're the low bidder. Now that may be bad, but it's also kind of good because if um, if one of your competition uh, is not competent enough to bid the job, then you can bring that to the purchasing agent's attention and they may reject their bid also. Um, also, I want to tell you that a lot of government bids especially uh, require a performance bond and this is a financial instrument which uh, basically holds you to the fact that you have bid on a job and that you're going to complete the job and if you don't complete the job for any reason you may lose the performance bond so take that pretty seriously and think about that when you're submitting your bid and make sure also that you know that the performance bond is probably going to cost you something or it's going to tie up some of your financial resources so factor that in as well um, on your price and the last thing that I just want to talk about just real quick is uh, the fact that you cannot coll collude um, on your bidding. Uh, collusive bidding is not allowed. And basically what this means is you can't get together with the other guys who are bidding the same contract as you and you can't talk about the prices that each one is going to bid. Um, if you do this and if you set a minimum price or if you set prices uh, that is known as collusion and it could uh, cause all of your bids to be rejected and it could also get you kicked off the bidding list. Uh, they take this pretty seriously so try not to talk with the other guys about how much you're going to bid uh, before a government job. It's kind of important. Um, this is Keith with StartAlawnCareBusiness.com. We have bid these kind of contracts before. It's kind of nerve-wracking sitting in on the bidding process but once you learn how to do it and once you know how to price your jobs correctly uh, it becomes a whole lot less stressful. Uh, in the in the uh, startalawncarebusiness.com business package, we include uh, a great tutorial on how to bid these jobs. Uh, also, we include the estimating software, which will help you determine uh, how much you need, need to charge on these jobs. So take a look at our website. Uh, if you're needing to start your own lawn care business this year or if you're wanting to expand a business that you started a year or two ago and you're just not making the money that you feel like you need to make, uh, take a look at our website. We've put together a really good business package for you. The address is www.startalawncarebusiness.com.